There was a trick I recently discovered that you can use to improve your viewer's retention in your videos. It's all about giving your viewer a new feeling throughout the video. And you can achieve this by using either transitions or introducing a new shot to the video. In this video, I'll show you two ways to create some amazing transitions that you can use in your videos to give your viewers a new feeling throughout the video clip. So without much further ado, let's dive into today's video. For the first transition, we are going to be using an icon or an image to create that transition. So basically, we are going to be using three main properties, that is the scale, the rotation, and the position property to create this amazing transition. So in Premiere Pro, I have the two clips I want to transition from this clip into this clip here. And this is the icon that I want to use for the transition. So I'm going to add it on top of the two clips, and I'll reduce the duration of this icon and reposition it. And then the transition has to take place when the playhead is at the center of the two clips. The first thing I'm going to do is that I'll add in a transform effect onto the icon or on the image that you're using. Then under the effects control, I'm going to reduce the size of the icon. So let's say 25%. Now I'm going to set in the properties. So I'm going to position my playhead again at the center. Then I'll hold the shift key and press the left arrow key twice. And I'll set in the first set of keyframes. That is the position, the scale, and the rotation. Then I'm going to move at the center again and set in the set, second set of keyframes. And to set the third set of keyframes, I'll hold the shift key again, but this time around I'll press the right arrow key twice. Then I set in the third set of keyframes. Back to the first keyframes, I'm going to set in the scale of 0. But before that, I'll position the icon out of the video, that it should be out of scene. It could be downward, upward, left or right, but it depends all on you. Then for the second set of keyframes, it's going to remain the same. Unless for the scale keyframe, which I'm going to set it to 90, so that it fills up everything. So depending on the image you're working with, this is scale value here will be changed. Moving to the third set of keyframes, I'll still reposition these to out of the composition. So I'm just going to copy the first position keyframe. By selecting it, pressing Command C, then Command V to paste it. And make sure that your playhead is on top of the keyframe, as you can see here. Then for the scale, I'm going to set it back to zero. And for the rotation, I'll set it to 360 degrees. So as you can see, the icon will rotate. Then at the center, it will fill up the entire screen. And when it goes back to zero, the other clip will be reviewed. So that's the main concept of this transition, to just cover up this first scene, then it reveals the second scene. Now to make this to be more interesting, what I'm going to do is that I'll select all of the properties, right click on it, then I'll make it to be smooth by introducing the bezier effect on top of them. Then I'll uncheck this use composition shutter angle. So when I increase this, you'll see that's a full meaning. Use composition shutter angle. Then for the shutter angle, I'm going to set it to 360. And what this does is that it will make the effect to be blurred out. Moving on to the second transition, we are going to be using two effects to achieve it. That is the replicate effect and the mirror effect. Now in Premiere Pro, I have the two clips. So I'll be transitioning from this clip into this clip as always. And the first thing I'm going to do is that I'll add in the replicate effect. And when I add in the replicate effect on top of the video clip, it will add in three replicates. And under the effects control, I'm going to increase the amount of counts to three. And as you can see, we now have eight more replicates. And this is the original video at the center. Each replicate is separated by a hat line. This is a hat line here, and this is another line here. And we don't need those hat lines. And this is where the mirror effect comes in. And we are going to use this the mirror effect to remove these hat lines from the videos. For the first uh, mirror effect here, I'm going to set in a reflection angle of 90 degrees and it has flipped this image vertically so I'll change this let's say to set it around here so that we can still see the duplicate so it has moved this hat line that was here let me reposition this again you see that's the hat line and when I position it it has taken away the hat line so I'm going to add in the mirror effect again then I'll set in the value of 180 for the reflection angle but this time around, I'm going to adjust the X position. Now it has taken away this hat line here. I'm going to add in another mirror effect. And this time around, I'll allow it to be set at the value of 0. And I'll take away this other hat line here. And again, I'll add in another mirror effect. 
to take away the last hat line which is this here. So I'll set in the value of negative 19, then I'll reposition the image or the video clip. As you can see, all of the hat lines that were here, here and here, all of them are gone. The next thing I'm going to do is that I'll set all of the mirror effects that are duplicated and the replicated effect as a preset because I'm going to use it on top of the other clip. I don't want to go again throughout this process to be adding the mirror effect and readjusting the position. So I'll hold the command key, but if you're on Windows, that's the control key. Then I'll select all of the mirror effect and the replicate effect. Right click, then I'll go to save preset. Then you give it a name. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to call it R for replicate and M for mirror, just for simplicity's sake. And I'll hit on OK to save it. So you go under the effects panel, then under the presets, you open this and you'll see the name of the preset that you saved. This is it here. You can just search the name here. So I'm going to drag and drop it on top of the other clip. The other clip also has the same effect, but you can go around and adjust it so that it does not really like you see this area here it's not really perfectly centered so you can go around and rearrange this so it removes the lines perfect and same thing with this other bottom line here the next thing is that i'll add in an adjustment layer then on top of the adjustment layer i'll add in the transform property and for this transform property here i'm going to increase the scale to 300 after increasing the scale to 300 you see that the video has its original size and that's the reason why i increase the count to 3. after increasing the scale property to 300 i'm going to animate the position property so as you can see the playhead is at the center and this is where i want the effect to take place so i'll hold shift like in the first example move backward then I'll set in the position keyframe and same thing I'm going to move to the right that's from the center and set in another position keyframe but this time around I'm going to move the video clip until I see the replicate of the original clip and I'll make sure that it fits perfectly. There's one adjustment that we have to make again. That is the image here has been flipped because of the mirror effect. So I'm going to add in another effect to flip this image back. See with the adjustment layer selected, I'm going to open this here, then zoom in. Select the two keyframes for the position property. Then I'll adjust these handles to make the animation to be smooth. Then same thing, I'm going to uncheck this box and set in a shooter angle of 360. Hope you found the video useful and interesting. To implement what you've learned in the video and leave your feedback in the comment section below and I'll be there to always read your comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video to support the channel grow. Thanks for watching and on to the next one. Keep editing.